<laughs> What's going on G's? Kev here back for another video. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be focusing on my garage instead of my car, and more particularly, this shelf. Now this shelf is the shelf that I keep all of my detailing, chemicals, and equipment on, and I think it's time for an upgrade. Um, I've had this shelf for six, seven years that served me well, but I just need something more practical, something that's not plastic, that doesn't, you know, feel like it's gonna fall apart if I run into it with my foot or something. So we went to Home Depot, picked up some wood, and we're going to build ourselves a couple of shelves and bring you along for the process. So let's get started marking up some wood, and we're gonna pull this shelf out too. Alrighty, we got the shelf pulled out just far enough so I can take some measurements. We're gonna start measuring and get rolling with this. Alrighty, we're gonna talk cost of materials here for just a sec. So, what I bought, I bought two three quarter inch by 16 inch by 48 inch pieces of MDF shelving material. Those were $11 and, well, the total was $22.52 for two of them, so you do the math. And then I also bought two two by two by six pine boards, and those were also pretty expensive. They were $11 and some change a piece, so $22.82 for those two with an altogether cost after tax of $48.74. This should get me two shelves, hopefully. Hopefully I won't have to go back to the store and buy more. I'm gonna start measuring now. Okay, so here's a little trick uh, for finding studs that I found very useful. So I don't actually have a stud finder, so I find it extremely hard to find studs in walls. So, picked up one of these little guys. This is actually for metal detecting and it's a little metal detector uh, meant for digging around in the sand and stuff like that. But if you turn it on, and I've already pre-drilled here where there's a stud, see how it's going off? I'm marking where the screws are so I don't accidentally screw into another screw. Makes my life a lot easier later down the road. Be free. All right, we've got all the wood all marked up. I'm gonna go outside and cut this real quick, and we'll be right back in just a sec. Our edges look pretty good. Not too bad, they're gonna need some sanding though. So I'm gonna go ahead and tack these guys together with the nail gun, some brad nails, and then we're gonna go ahead and mount it up on the wall and see how it looks. I'm an idiot. I'm gonna screw this together instead of using brad nails just because I do not feel like getting the air compressor out and hooking it up and all that stuff. It's just easier. So, pretty your hole it is. Now that two by two board is getting mounted onto this wall, and then this guy's gonna get put onto it, so it's a floating shelf. You'll, you'll, you'll see what I mean in a second. 
So one shelf is up, and as you can see, nothing underneath it holding it up, nothing on top holding it up, just inside. So doing the same thing for the second shelf here. And basically the same principle, I just bolt the two by four to the spots that I mark where the uh, boards are behind. And then I bolt it up. And well, yeah, I'll film this part. That way I can store all of my various little four inch and three inch buffing pads in here and whatever else I want my six inch buffing pads down there. Also got a tire pressure gauge, various brushes. I'm super happy with how these turned out and hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did make sure you leave a like down below and as always subscribe for more content just like this. See you guys in the next video.